It's always a good day in the workshop when new tools arrive. But when the new tools exceed your expectations, you know it's going to be a fantastic day in the workshop. Hi, I'm Graham and welcome to my workshop. I've got a super quick review for you today of some tools I've just bought from Workshop Heaven. The reason I bought them is because I've been struggling with my old rulers and my aging eyesight. And I wanted something that just made my life a little easier. Come in closer and have a looky. So I've laid out my old rules beside the new Shinwa pickup rules of the 150 mil, the 300 mil and the 600 mil. And as you can hopefully see straight off the bat, the Shinwa with the satin finish reflects far less light and is therefore easier to see than the old polished steel rules. Also, again, making it, in my opinion, easier to see, the old polished steel rules have half millimeter increments on the first 100 mil and on the baby rule on the first 50 mil, but the Shinwa don't. Now, some may say that that uh, makes the rule less functional, but I find it makes the rule far easier to see and therefore uh, of greater value, more functional, because it's easier to see. Also, while we're here, these are from the pickup range and they've all got this little raised section at the back. Let me put them all together. So that it's easier for you to get your fingernail, thumbnail underneath and pick them up. I've found that the 150 and the 300 are quite easy to flip up and pick. The 600 is a little heavier, so not quite able to do that with it but you can pick it up quite easy with that as far as the rear of the ruler is concerned i'm not really sure what these markings are i just, i believe they'll mean something if you can speak the language of origin either chinese or japanese unfortunately i can't so the rear of the ruler is of no use to me however the front of the ruler more than makes up for it. Before moving on, um, the prices of these, and I'll put the information down below in the description along with the links. I'm sorry, I've just realized I've still got my hat on. How rude, and I'm inside. Keep my shiny chrome dome warm. Uh, so the 150 mil was five pounds 50, 300 mil 10 pounds 50, and the 600 mil 20 pounds 50. Not bad prices, really, for such easy-to-read, non-reflective rules. I'm chuffed to bits with them, in case you hadn't noticed. And I think you're going to be seeing a lot more of them in my future publications. So, on to the sliding bevel. So, I've used these Marple style, or these style sliding bevels by Marples for years. And I've often wished that the knurled locking knob was at the bottom or in a different place or on both sides, possibly. Um, so when I saw this on the site, I thought I'd give it a try. And it certainly feels like it's going to be easier to lock the blade in the place I want when I'm cack handedly holding it on a something to try and get the angle. Um, Initial reaction to it after taking it out the bag is the the blade feels fine fine quite substantial in fact the handle it just feels a little uh, cheap uh, a little rough maybe a little uh, lacks polish and finish but it's a sliding bevel it's not a cuddly toy so I'd um, be quite interested to put this to the test and find out how much easier this end locking knob actually makes it, if at all. It was one of the more expensive of the tools I bought. This came in at £21.50. So I hope it 
produces the results I'm looking for. And finally, in my little stash, was this marking knife. Now, this isn't made by Shinwa. This is made by Kaseya. Apologies to all if I'm doing a terrible job of pronouncing these names. So this is marketed as a brass bound Japanese marking knife and costs uh, £8.50. Incidentally, all the prices, I believe, were plus fat. No, take that back. I'll rub that a bit. So brass bound marking knife. And when you take the cover off, you can see that it is an actual fact, a single piece of steel, I believe, with a thin brass wrapping around the end to form a handle. I'll bring you in closer. So when you take the cover off, you can see that it is indeed a single piece of steel with a piece of brass wrapped around the end of the blade to form the handle. Very simple design. And it does, it, it's got a cheap feeling about it. I'm not sure how much I expected um, when paying £8.50. My one concern is that with the uh, cover that goes on the blade being so thin and with my eyes not being as good as they used to be, uh, in my attempt to cover the blade so I don't stab myself with it when I'm not paying attention, I may well indeed stab myself with it trying to put it away it feels reasonable in the hand and let's have a piece of wood <clears throat> and a square and i haven't sharpened it this is straight out of the box or the bag rather yeah, it certainly feels all right. As to how long the edge will last and how often it needs sharpening, I have no idea at the moment, but I will indeed give it a fair use crack of the whip. So that's it really, a really super quick um, kind of first impressions and review. I was just so impressed with these Shinwa rules that I wanted to tell you about it. Shout it from the highest rooftops. I hope that was of some interest and of some benefit in case you too have tired aging eyes and feel the need for something a little easier to see. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ta ra. Do 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 boom.